From Victor Fister Prison, Mandela went to address thousands of supporters at the City Hall. Thanking the audience, he told them that his suffering was no worse than the rest of the people of the country. Mandela then told the people that the real work of liberating the people of South Africa was about to begin. My talks with the government have been aimed at normalizing the political situation in the country. We have not as yet begun discussing the basic demands of the struggle. I wish to stress that I myself had at no time entered into negotiations about the future of our country. Except to insist on a meeting between the ANC and the government. His first steps Mandela called on the international community to continue the campaign to isolate the apartheid regime. South Africa was at the time under economic sanction, with many countries putting pressure on the then government to end apartheid. Our march to freedom is irreversible. We must not allow fear to stand in our way. Universal suffrage on a common voters' road in a united democratic and non-racial South Africa is the only way to peace and racial harmony. It started with former President F.W. de Klerk unbanning the liberation movements. Mr. Nelson Mandela will be released at the Victor Verstaat prison on Sunday the 11th of February at about 3 p.m. Yesterday evening I met with Mr. Mandela in Cape Town, together with Ministers Fulyun and Kutsia. During the meeting, Mr. Mandela was informed of the government's decision regarding his release. We would all like Mr. Mandela's release to take place in a dignified and orderly manner. To attain this, government officials are at the moment involved in discussions with parties concerned in order to afford them the opportunity to make suitable arrangements. Two issues were also raised during the discussions between me and Mr. Mandela, namely the state of emergency and the position of persons serving sentences for politically motivated crimes, as well as those who have committed such crimes and who are now outside the country. I stressed the importance of creating conditions which would enable me to lift the state of emergency without jeopardizing the maintenance of law and order. He called for the intensification of the struggle on all fronts, also calling for white compatriots to join in in the shaping of a new South Africa. Whatever the setbacks of the moment, nothing can stop us now. Whatever the difficulties, Africa shall be at peace.